Our application is almost complete. We are left with just a few bits and pieces here and there. And of course, lots of optimization and tests, but that's a different story. We left the last section while wondering how to display our ingredients list in a tree so that it looks structured. Valin is a framework, meaning that it includes a huge number of components for the majority of typical use cases. What's even better, it allows us to extend the existing functionality by adding new code to it. Let's take a look at the class hierarchy. We can see that every UI component implements adequately named interface component. Other important interface is field, which is used in those components that present some value to the user and allow it to be changed. To make adding new components easier, Vodin includes a number of pre-made base classes, like custom component or custom field. These classes implement most of the functionality defined by the corresponding interface while allowing us to focus on just adding new code. Simple and brilliant. Let's take a look at our use case again. We have a pre-formatted text which we want to display in a tree. That means we want to have a string field that is presented by a tree. The base class for us is thus custom field. Extending an existing component in Vardin does not differ at all from extending any other Java class. We simply create a new class, specify a base class, and let Eclipse give us a skeleton implementation of missing methods. Field interface requires us to provide a type of the data it stores. In our case, this will be string. Let's do some coding. Apart from the missing method init content, we should also overwrite set internal value to update the tree according. Then we just fill in the details. In this case, the details are conversion from a string to a hierarchical container. Since we disallow any editing, we do not have to care about the conversion from the container data to string. And now let's see if this works as expected. Well, just great. That was a simple lesson, wasn't it? As long as we are extending server-side components, it rarely gets any more complicated than just writing in the new functionality. The important thing to remember is the subclass custom field when our component stores a value of some type and subclass custom component in the vast majority of other cases. Let's move on. The next video will focus on creating a new component from scratch.